Thanks for joining us online. Today we're going to discuss the UGPH 75, the uphill gas power grout hog. You may be wondering what's the difference between the uphill and standard grout hog. The uphill grout hog has 20 inch further reach compared to the standard grout hog. You also have a discharge height that's two to three foot higher. This allows you to reach up underneath bar joists, which means you don't have to have your telehandler as high in the air when grouting the wall. The unique swivel base allows for 270 degree rotation when on the lift. This allows you to grout up to 17 foot of wall without moving the telehandler. The uphill gas power grout hog also can have a crane bale assembly that can be purchased when you buy the unit or can be added on at any later date. The UGPH75 has a three quarter yard capacity. Also comes with a GX390 Honda, comes with electric start, as well as recoil. The UGPH75 is a self-contained unit that comes with a pendant switch with forward and reverse to control the flow of the auger. For those of you who are wondering how to clean the unit, every unit comes with a safety clip here. This pin must be removed before you can clean the hopper. Once this is removed, you'll need to pull the safety latch, turn it, then you're gonna move to the back of the hopper. You've got a rod across here. You're gonna pull the rod, push the hopper up. Once the hopper is leaning towards the downward action with the auger tube, it's time to remove the end cap. Once the auger is removed, then you can take your hose, hose down your auger and your hopper. Finally, the auger goes back into the hopper to finish your cleanup process. An added safety feature on all grout hog units is the skid locking pins. The pins keep these forks attached to the unit at all times. Every UGPH 75 has a full box that comes with a grease gun, grease tube, speed wrench for clean out, and a cleaning brush to clean the hopper. This has been an overview of the Uphill Gas Power Grout Hog. For any additional information or other questions, please contact us.